What's going on, guys? Today, I got something strange going on in the garage. It seems like this thing's sitting kind of sideways. Oh, wait a minute. What do we got going on here? Oh, okay. All right. Well, let me fill you in on what's going on here. So, you remember how I mentioned that we were probably going to end up upgrading the muffler? Well, the time has come. So, I went ahead and remove the old one and you can see it's uh pretty big I think I measured earlier like 31 inches 30 inches if you count all the you know the whole whole assembly here it's about 45 inches which is huge um, the main problem is it was causing a lot of back pressure especially on the top end which is to be expected um, I wasn't sure how much it was going to affect the uh, performance of the engine but uh, after doing some data logging and uh, and everything it it really seems to be hurting it on the top end a lot so uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, out of necessity change the muffler so here we are um, what I've I actually had some stuff laying around that I wanted to try I've kind of done this before so I know what to expect as far as the sound goes but um I had some of these uh, these three inch. I call them bullets. I guess I'm not sure what their technical name is, but I mean it's a straight through design. It's like a little miniature glass pack basically. And uh, the other part I have here is an expansion chamber. And it's about eight inches in diameter, and it's also completely hollow. And uh, basically, that's going to give it a nice deep tone and uh give us the airflow that we need i've got the light set up here so you can see through it you can see it's, it's a pretty straight through design so that's going to be much better for airflow and then of course you may remember the muffler on the back is actually a uh it's a, a tipped muffler so that's going to help also with noise suppression so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, start getting this, this guy welded together. Um, this pipe came out of a, uh, I think it was a 2500 Chevy truck. I've got a huge pile of exhaust pipes. I always save exhaust pipes. You never know what you might need for a swap or a project or, or whatever. So I always save pipes. So... I'm going to fit this in the truck. The flange, you know, is obviously the same. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is get this fitted. I'm going to have to remove this hanger right here and, and uh, do something, a different style hanger with the, with the location under the truck. And then once I get the measurement for this guy right here and get it, get it kind of, get this pipe put in place, I'll know where to cut this off and get this welded in. So this is going to be much more airflow it's going to be a lot better so anyway let's get started all right guys i finally got done with the exhaust i'll just give you another look at the stock muffler and i don't know how much that thing weighs exactly but i mean it's probably i'd say at least 30 pounds the new pipe wasn't much lighter, so the weight's not really a big deal. But, uh, give you a look underneath. You can see the, uh, front pipe there. I had to add some angle to it. I'm out of gas, so I was using my, uh, flex core welder, so. Got the bullet put in here. Expansion chamber. And got it connected to the muffler in the back. And then I also had to retorque the, uh, the uh, whatever you call these joints. I'm not actually sure what you call those, but uh, the connections from the long tube headers to the Y pipe had uh, kind of come loose. I'm guessing from heat. You know, generally after you uh, heat cycle something a few times, you need to go back and torque a few things anyway. So I kind of expected that to be loose. So, and also this, 
this had settled down on the frame I could feel the vibration when I was driving so the reason I put a little bit more angle right here was to uh, kind of turn this thing up a little bit so it's very clear of the frame now won't have to worry about that anymore and it's not touching the transmission at all so everything's good there everything else looks like it's holding up just fine so that's all good you guys keep in mind I made that whole pipe out of uh, used pipe I had laying around if I really felt the need to I could have taken a little bit of time cleaned the pipe up and uh, and painted it with some high temp paint or something to make it look nice uh, or nicer I think it looks fine but uh, the bottom line is is if I clean it up I mean it's just gonna get you know it's gonna look like that in a few months anyway so uh, anyway I, I think it turned out great I'm happy with it anyway I want to start it up and see how it sounds all right, so keep in mind it's kind of late, uh, so I don't want to disturb the neighbors too much. So I'm not gonna be revving it up. This is just a cold start. This is a, this is legit a cold start. So hopefully it won't be too loud. If it if it gets loud, I'm gonna have to abort a mission, guys. All right, let's see what we got here. It's not like insanely loud, but it just seems a lot louder because it's late at night. But uh, anyway, we'll see how it sounds driving down the road later. And uh, hopefully I don't need to make any changes. If I do, it'll actually be uh, pretty easy now with that that main pipe coming down and uh, the slip joint on the back. You know, if I decide that the muffler's too loud, I could get, you know, maybe a, a 40 series or a Dynamax or something like I'm running in the Procharge Trailblazer and all I got to do is cut that pipe and uh, measure it welded in and just stick it right back in there so we'll see how it goes so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video on the side 97 uh, weather's been really bad and uh, so I haven't been able to do a lot of things that I wanted to do so I uh, appreciate you guys hanging in there hadn't been putting out as many videos as I wanted to so I want to thank and welcome all my new subscribers and I uh, hope you guys will uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'll see you next time. Let me start up again. Oh, hold on.